Yoo-hoo. It's the time for Beckett from China. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at the game station called the M8 Plus Edition. So on AliExpress, we can find so many of these weird devices. But the question remains, what are we going to get? And that's the reason I love to do these reviews, just to see how good or how crappy it is. Because sometimes you think, oh, this is going to be the next level of the next generation. But in the end, what you're going to get is like a really crappy product. So in here, we're going to get the system itself, if it wants to come out. And let's see, we're going to get ourselves a micro, yeah, micro USB cable. Then we're going to get a box inside a box. It's almost like freaking magic. And in here, we're going to get all the other stuff. For example, the HDMI cable. Then we're going to get two. Oh yeah, I can already see it. The cheap to the cheap controllers. They're not even wireless. Like, wait, wait, what? The box has 2.4 gigabytes wireless controllers. And what do I get? Wired controllers. Yeah, that makes any sense. Nope, not at all. So we're going to get the glossy toilet paper manual like always just to see what we're going to get. And it seems to be this thing can even play some PlayStation 1. So this is going to be quite fancy. And the fun thing is like this thing says GameStick 4K Lite. Like, okay, is this just the wrong manual or did, no. Game Station, Game Stick. See, that's what we call, like they are really using software. It's going to be a freaking nightmare. Nevertheless, let's take a close look at the system first. All right, so it comes in a very nice plastic protection case, but how does this thing look? So it looks like a deformed or a chopped down deformed PlayStation 4 Pro. I have seen like the fake PlayStation 4 from AliExpress a very long time ago. So here at the back, we're going to get the 32 gigabyte. It is a brandless kind of a weird SD card. Then we're going to get the HDMI out input for 5 volt. We're also going to open it up in this video. We're going to get an on and off switch at the front and two USB ports. That's it. I was saying, like, do like the top part. It looks very nice. But yeah, it always weighs almost nothing. Oh man, it's going to be a lot of plastic fantastic and a tiny piece of E. Oh. 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 First thing, of course, the smelly test. But you can see, like, we're going to get this very cheap quality cable. And another thing, like this is not like real rubber, like this is just kind of a plastic grip. And I can say like this thing is awful, like cheap feel. There's not even a vibration motor in this thing. It's really cheap to the cheap. I really hate those controllers. So plugging in the device itself is quite easy. Like plug and play, absolutely. Like you only need a USB and then the HDMI cable. Plug in the controller. And let's go with the show. And oh my gee, look at this. We're going to get the GameStick Lite 4K. So what this means, they're basically like reusing their own software. Oh man, that is freaking lazy. They didn't even change the freaking decal over there. Oh. Okay guys, so let's take a close look at the menu, whatever we're going to get. Oh, first of all, that annoying sound. Bleep, bleep. But what you can see, like they didn't even put the effort on putting a normal, let's say preview video in it. I don't know what's going on there, like it's, it's doing some weird shit. So pressing the R1 button, L1, we can change between the top menu over there. And here we're going to get like the list, the class, the history, collection. And the collection is more of the favorite list. And then we're going to get search function. So let's take a close look at the class. And basically we're going to get the platform. So here we're going to get MAME or Arcade, Famicom, Game Boy Classic, the Color version and the GBA, Mega Drive, Atari, that is something you don't see very often, PlayStation 1 and the Super Famicom. So that's the only thing that we're going to get. We're going to try out a couple of these systems just to see how they're running. But first, let's try out the freaking search engine because I want to know if this freaking thing works. Okay, so let's take a close look at the search results. So let's try to search my favorite game, Mortal Kombat, just to see if it's on here and if whatever we're going to get with this. Okay, so first of all, like we're going to get different kind of systems, but when you're switching between, you can see over there, here in the corner, it changes out what kind of platform you're using. So that's like this tiny indication that lets you know what it is. So basically, this seems to be all of the CPS version, or that's what they're saying. Don't believe that Mortal Kombat 3 trilogy is CPS. I'm guessing it's PlayStation 1. But nevertheless, the search results are okay because it seems to be working. And then we're going to start 
the game and you're pressing select and start this is the menu that you're going to get before you're going to back to the main menu we're having like different save slots over here and we also have of course the same story with the load stage we can configure some controls but the thing i found a little bit of a bummer is that we cannot change out the expats ratio stuff like that so there's always like a hit or miss with these boxes all right so let's try mortal kombat 1 my favorite game and it's this is going to be a great start because the game doesn't run at all. It runs on 2 frames per second or something like that. Absolutely ridiculous that this thing doesn't run the Mortal Kombat 1 game. <sighs> Let's try another one. Okay, so next up I'm curious how the Sega Genesis will work. And with these games and the combination with an emulator or the system itself, the hardware, it's always like the question with these Chinese products in general, like what are we going to get? But so far I can see and hear, everything seems to be working just fine. I wouldn't have these tries. Oh man, my controller is like refusing to work now. Oh, this, yeah, let's use the analog stick. I, like, they are like so worse, so freaking awful. Ooh, turbo mode. Mm -mm. Okay, so next up, let's try another arcade game. And in this game, this is not really demanding. I just want to see if we can use the analog stick and the D-pad. So the analog stick works fine for super moves, but I can't get any move out with the D-pad. So I was expecting this with a cheap device or better set a cheap controller like this. It's freaking awful, absolute. Ugh. See, and what I don't get is like, these games are not bad at all when it comes to emulation, but the controller is freaking like ruining everything. Alright, so what also happens, and I just needed to show you this, I wanted to put up a Super NES game, just a random picked out one game, and guess what? It doesn't load up. <sighs> okay, so next up let's play a PlayStation 1 game, just to see how this will work out. So first of all, we're going to try a game that is really demanding, and... I don't know if you can even hear it, but the game runs really slow. Oh boy. So, like, beside Mortal Kombat 1, this device is not able to run PlayStation 1. <sighs> But do you know, I don't get it. It's more like, why are they doing this? Like, why are they like keep like releasing these products and not finish them off? Because the software they are running is basically the same stuff that we have seen before. I like, think about especially handhelds from brands like Pokitty, stuff like that. So I don't get it. I really don't get it. And I think it's not needing to have like a lot of problems emulating the PlayStation 1 because that's the system most of these devices can play nowadays. Okay, so let's see what we're going to get. Now I need to remove the... Okay, so I need to remove this part first. Then we're going to get into this weird compartment. Still one screw over here that holds this part in place. I found it out quite interesting to see what you're going to find on the inside. Alright, so let's remove this. And we can already see what are we going to get. So... First of all, what are we going to get over here? We're going to get two PCBs, of course, Captain Obvious mode here. But let's say the date. So the date says here 2021, so this product has been just released. It's not a very old product. And that makes it even more horrible. I'm more like releasing something new and it's like freaking awful. It comes with only RAM one RAM chip over here. And then we're going to get the Rock chip 3302. Oh, or sorry, 3032. Sorry, mispronounced that one. But the thing is like this is a chip it's quite old chip and yeah the specification wise it's not super bad i did see like some using the 3100 and yeah it's like i don't get it it's a low powered it is a combination of bad firmware or software that you're using because i don't get it man it's really weird and this this chip is not like really underpowered but somehow all of the games runs like shit 
yeah so the game station i do like the casing it looks very nice very thick plastic i don't know if this is kind of metal no it's plastic you can see over here so it's quite a different layers like this top shell can also be of top half can be removed and we can lift out the main board but it is not necessary in my opinion so here you can see the date of this pcb over here it says 2021 too so yeah this is what you're going to get in the inside and when it comes to the emulation Okay guys, so this is the game station. And the game station is one big disappointment. So first of all, we are looking at this controller. Like, maybe it looks fine, but I can tell you, this is the one of the worst controller I have played in the last couple of videos I've made here. Like, I don't get it. They need to ban these things because they are like freaking awful. Then we're going to get ourselves the game station. The looks like this chopped up mini PlayStation 4 Pro. It looks kind of cool. It looks kind of fancy. But when you're going to check the gameplay, it's freaking awful. Running on a really old rock chip, in my opinion, it's not super underpowered. It's still not super fancy. But when you're looking at all the performance, what you're going to get, it is freaking awful. Maybe fun to stick a pie in it, whatever. But this is just an insult to the name Game Station. It's more like Stutter Station. Well, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. Hit that little bell. Become winner, Wicked Family. And I will see you in the next video.